Hi, I'm Pete. And I'm Kaz, and together we are Crafty Camper Vanners. Today, you find us in our second trip in our camper van. It's probably going to be the first video we release, as the other one's slightly more complicated, and we've both been a little bit under the weather, so we'll probably end up getting this one out to you first. Yes, as you'll be able to tell, I'm rather throaty and nasal. Um, we've both had COVID. Not to worry, though, we've now both been released out into the open. <laughs> and um, we were, we don't travel, we don't go away on bank holidays, do we? Just Not because typically. of the traffic, children, yeah. just general being busy. Yes. Um, but... Um, Let's as, get this dog out here. Carry on. As a lot of you probably know, um, I've, I've had an experience lately with my health and I've been off of work for five months and I'm actually due to go back to work. Well, I was due to go back to work last Monday, but COVID put paid to that. Uh, but I'm due to go back to work on Tuesday. So we thought, you know what? The weather's nice. Let's just take an opportunity and go out and have a couple of nights out in the van. Most people that have traveled for the bank holiday will have traveled either Thursday or Friday. So we decided to come um, Saturday afternoon on a whim. And as Pete said, we're here at, where are we? West Country Buffalo Farm. Um, which is a yeah. CL site, and at the moment we're the only people in the whole the whole paddock. It's lovely. The time is 7.07 at night. Um, as you can see, I'm in my sundress. The sun is still out. Um, I think it got up to about 20 degrees today, but it's it's still lovely to sit out here. And for me, this is what the last five months, what I've been striving for, this is what I've been looking forward to, being able to come out, sit in nature, listen, listen to the birds, um, and just enjoy some quiet time together. Yeah. Um, and we've just been dead lucky with the weather. Um, I, feel, I feel really rotten, um, but I'm hoping this sunshine and fresh air will help clear up the last of this cold. And, um, it doesn't really matter where you are when you're not feeling very well, does it? So why not be sat outside your camper van enjoying a bit of sunshine? Yeah, we tried to get away last weekend. Um, I've actually been off sick for two weeks in a row. So come, when was it? Last week, Sunday. We thought we'd take a drive to the beach. Yeah, sort of a 15 minute drive off. We went to the beach. Um, we sat there and had lunch and both of us were just exhausted. So it's a good job we were in the camper van because we were able to close the back doors and just have a sleep we on did. the beach. <laughs> we <laughs> Terrible. <had> little, <laughs> yeah. We set an alarm. To, <laughs> we had visions of falling asleep and waking up with the waves <laughs> lapping gently around the windows <laughs> as the tide came in while we slept. But um, yeah, it's really knocked us for six. As I said, I still don't feel well. I, I'm partially deaf. I can't really hear um, in, in this ear, but um, yeah. It's just nice to just come and relax and just have nothing, you know. We're going to order in a takeaway in a bit, aren't we? Yeah. Um, and, and that's it. It's just, just going to be a quiet, gentle relax. And if we stay the only people on the site, then that's a double bonus. For those of you which are vegetarians, you can put your fingers in your ears for the next 30 seconds or so. Um, this place is rather like one of those aquariums where you can go to and say, I want that fish on my on my plate or that, that crab or the lobster in the tank, put it on the plate. Except this is a uh, farm that does water buffaloes. So over there in the shed, which I'll show a bit of um, a clip right about now. There's lots of baby buffaloes. Yeah. And just behind the shed is a shop that sells the end products of those buffaloes. So you can come here, enjoy the countryside, look at the buffaloes and then eat them. Yeah, they do have a brilliant selection of cheese, meat, different meat, so burgers, sausages, steaks, um, obviously all water buffalo. And they also have water buffalo ice cream. Pete's not too keen on no, it. No, it's a bit um, buffalo-y. It does have a definite <laughs> twang to it. It's a bit, yeah. I think it's a bit like the old goat's cheese thing. Um, there's, there's a certain twang to goat's cheese. Yeah. And if they made ice cream out of, out of goat's cheese, I don't know if they do, but I think that would have that, <laughs> that weird well, twang. That sounds to horrible. It. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, I'd try it. Oh, no. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'll probably try it, but I don't think I'd like it. Goat's cheese and caramelised onion ice cream. Mm. I'd sooner go and lick a turd. Yeah. <laughs> there's probably plenty down in the yeah. bar. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> So we're going to give you um, a show round of this lovely little site. Um, as we said, it is a CL, so maximum five pitches. Quite basic. You've got electricity and water on yeah. your pitch. So each, um, each pitch has got uh, electricity. 
Um, every, you know, you're sharing the water tap with your neighbors, but they've got a little brass valve on there with two, uh, two taps on the, on the valve itself. So you can open up the tap and you both can have a hose pipe connected to the same tap and then you can turn off your little sub valve. Yeah, I so that you don't yeah. turn off your neighbor's water yeah. when you're turning yours off, yeah. vice versa. But we didn't, we didn't leave the thing in a fully service configuration. We just filled up the tank. Uh, but, oh, that's another thing about having the camper van. You know, we got, we got here, we parked it, Check for level, it was dead level already. I got on a chair and sat down and I <laughs> She got on a moved. chair and sat down, didn't move. <laughs> I took the hose pipe out, filled up the water tank, connected the electricity, connected the drain. Um, show you all that in a moment. And bingo, there you are. You know, handbrake on. Done. Don't know whether you can hear this, but it's beautiful listening to the birds. Unfortunately, we have got a main A road um, not too far from the from the camp. It, um, the, the farm is located on a, a working farm, um, so there is a hum of traffic in the background. But the birds, lovely, watching a hawk earlier, mm. circling, hovering, trying to find its tea. Brought the binoculars along. So we've seen a lovely robin, haven't we? Yes. I, I don't ever remember seeing robins at this time of the year yet. Um, when we were away a couple of weeks ago with Sue and Trev and Case, Tracy and Kev. Oh, two weeks ago, it was yeah, snowing. It was snowing. Yeah. And again, though, we, we saw a, a robin. We did. Um, yeah. I believe they say that when a robin is, when you see a robin, it means that there's a loved one near that's passed away. So, hello, Nan. Hope you're doing well. <laughs> it's the second time we're visiting this particular CL. Last time we were here, we just got our new caravan. I think it was the second... Um, time out in that van, wasn't it, coincidentally? I don't know, I just remember I, I, I drove, you did. I remember driving you in. did, so it was, a, it was the, yeah, the first time was in Wales, the second time was here, so second time in the new van we come up to, to this yeah. particular CL. Um, it was just before we started doing YouTube, and yeah, the, the banner at the top of the page, which I edited last week, used to have a picture of our van actually at this particular site with the flags out and everything, didn't it? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, what I'll do, I'll just put a picture of that yeah. um, up here on screen somewhere. Yeah. So, I mean, the only reason really that we've come back is, um, A, they had availability. I mean, I didn't start ringing anyone until one o'clock when we decided, actually, come on, let's go somewhere. Second reason was definitely the proximity. Yeah, now, we just didn't want to go far. I mean, Pete, Pete's still not feeling 100%. I, I you know, I, I feel, I do feel pretty awful, but... Yeah, I'm still getting a bit of hot and cold. Yeah. You know, so sitting in this nice weather, I've still got my jacket on over here and a cap <laughs> and a cap well you know with the <laughs> amount of hair i've got on top of my head and it's the first time i'm seeing sun in about five months i thought yeah best not to get the sun you stroke. did put it on as a sun hat because <laughs> yeah. the sun hat's on it i haven't put the, the sun hats in it from works. the caravan <laughs> <laughs> oh dear the dogs seem to like it here yeah they do so we've got their little no oh, not not on milo but on dotty I don't know uh, if you can see this, but we've got them. So we've got the, the metal cable that's encased in plastic, um, which is attached to the back of the camper van. On the tow bar. On the tow bar. And then we've connected it to their harnesses. But also I've left their leads on just in case. Milo just seems to be a Harry Houdini. Um, so at least we've got something to run and dive on <laughs> if he does make a mad escape for it. And this yeah. one over here is Harriet Houdini. Yeah. Yeah. Luckily, the buffalo, because they're little babies at the moment, they're, they're staying in the barn, whereas last year they were um, adult buffalo. And what they seem to do is they seem to do a circle of the entire... So around the outside of this camp field is another field that they seem to circle around and they just walk along in lines, munching away at the grass, and throughout the day they kind of come past. But um, we're not going to get that on this trip, I'm afraid. Uh, but we're going to take the camera down to the barn and um, have a look at them in there, in yeah. the barn. In their almost natural habitat. <laughs> <laughs> well, their unnatural habitat. In, let's in put their it that unnatural way. habitat, <laughs> yeah, bless them. Yeah. <laughs> but they look so cute. And tasty. <laughs> it's the next day. What I'm going to do is take a walk over to the buffaloes. And here we go. Don't be scared. Don't be scared. That one there looks very young. 300826. I'm 
on the side of the van. This is advertising what occurs over here, West Country Water Buffalo. The wooden building over there is a pair of toilets and over there somewhere is the El San emptying port. I can't quite remember where it was. Oh, there's written on the sign on the side of the prefab building. It's so quite an old tractor. Ooh, I bet you're glad this is not smelly vision because it really, really honks around here. There is the Department of Recycling, Dutty and Milo and their little leads. It's quite nice to have them running sort of semi-free for a change. <laughs> 